Hello everybody and welcome back to the second video uh, about my new brush category uh, called Skip's Ultimate Thick Paint. Okay, so in the last video we just had sort of an introduction and we started working with this 01 Smooth Bristle brush which looks like this. Now, I would probably use this brush as a blocking brush or something that I just want to, uh, you know, establish my shapes because it's going to give me a nice smooth uh, look. It's just going to be a, a you know, a, a flat kind of brush uh, shape or shape with this brush. It doesn't really blend very well. I mean, it blends, but uh, I would be using it mainly for blocking. But that's because I like texture, so I would probably use a lot of texture. Now, if we go to the second brush, which is 02 Thin Wet Bristle, the first thing we know, we're going to know about it is that it's thin. It means it's not going to be applying thick paint. It's bristle as opposed to a palette knife, and it's wet. And if it's wet, that means it's going to sink into the uh, canvas. It's going to show the texture. So if I apply it kind of lightly, you're going to let's make it a little bit darker so we can see that. If I apply it kind of lightly, you're going to see a lot of texture. As I increase my pressure, though, it fills in all the valleys and hills of the paper. And you see that that paper texture coming through. Now, if you put this over the top of uh, the other brush mark, you're going to see the texture. It's like it cuts into it and uh, uh, you would see the texture. Now I'm going to get rid of this and remember we were going to do playback strokes. So I just want to play back that stroke so you can see how this looks and how it works when uh, you put it with another color. It mixes. See that blue would look like that. Now, if we switch back to the smooth bristle, you'll see how much smoother that smooth bristle is and how different it looks between uh, uh, these two brush types. Okay, so let's get rid of those. And we're going to go next to thin, it's called number three, thin grainy flat. Okay, so it's thin. It's grainy, which means it's wet, uh, and it's a flat brush. So now any of the brushes that all of these brushes are set to use the Wacom Art Pen. And what that allows you to do is to rotate the barrel in your fingertips, and the brush rotates with the rotation of the barrel, just like it would do with a real, if you were working with a real brush in your fingers and you twirled it, it would twirl. <laughs> you know, you would see the the flat brush turn right before your eyes. <laughs> okay, so let's let's look at how this one looks. Now we've got again, we've got a textured brush. Look how it seems to be a little bit longer than the previous brushes. Uh, that's because it's a little wetter. It does mix, as you can see. And just as a comparison, if we look at number two, see how that is much... Um, it, it fills the canvas a little more. It's uh, it kind of... It's kind of... A, it's a round brush, so you're not going to get this uh, variation in size that you would get with a flat brush like that one. But see the difference in the way they look? Okay, so they have a little bit of difference in the way they look, and it's it, you would paint differently with them. 
The next one is number four, and it's called soft bristle round. Okay, so if it's a soft bristle, it's not going to give you as much uh, linear little strokes where the paint sort of builds up, looks clumpy. So you see, you can see some of it because the paint is actually thicker in this one. The, the paint tends to get thicker as we get higher in numbers until we leave from, until we go from bristle to, to um, palette knives and then it starts over thin and going thicker. So this particular brush is um, a little bit it's it's a soft bristle round brush and it is wet look at how it really mixes now if you take a color and you do something like this well come on catch up and i start going through you can see how it covers but does mix with the paint uh below it um so this is soft bristle round and it's time to quit we'll come back and look at the next ones i'll try and make them a little bit faster as we go because there's no sense in talking at length with these all right talk to you in the next video bye bye